Hello everyone, it's XX Dragon Platinum XX here with another tutorial. So, just a reason why I made this video is that on my last video I wasn't too clear on how you're supposed to make some arms transparent. And I was asked a few questions like, Dragon, how am I supposed to make these arms transparent and is there a secret way to do it? Well, it's not that hard. So I'll, I'm just going to make a tutorial today and I'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, how to do it. So it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is find the part that seem that is white and you want to be transparent so that means that it can alter to what the skin color of their character or what color for that matter of the character's arms or legs if you're doing pants uh, that you want. So first of all you're going to want to select the rectangle select and you're going to want to Make a rectangle right over, oops, right over all that white space. And that's one way to do it. Or since if you're, all your arms are the same level, which mine are, let's go the other way. You can simply go and pretty much select all over them, and then you go Control X, and it makes that checkered pattern. That's how you know that it's going to be. Transparent. Now, say you have a sort of detailed sort of one like this, and you don't want to take as long. Like, it, this might take a little bit longer than the other one, but if you want to be really fast, what you have to do is you have to select the entire thing, which this is pretty simple. Then, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to this tool up here, and it's called subtract. So, it'll allow you to get rid of the parts that you don't need to be cut so you can just get rid of that collar from being cut bring that all the way down here oops and say that happens to you and you need to add it back there's simply an add you can add that part back you can just keep doing this now this takes a lot less time than uh having to recut, recut, recut each time that there is a little bump. So this is quite the time saver. And plus the more professional you become, if there's like a shading on it or something like that, you don't want to cut that shade off, so you might want to use this technique. And there, and then we go control X and voila. Simple easy and nice to do and one more thing I want to add today is that I've also received some comments about people not being able to save or upload their files uh, right away so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to save as now sometimes it'll come up as a PDN Roblox does not accept these files so what you're gonna want to do is you want to click here and you want to go to save it as a PNG and that's pretty much how it, it, when you go to save it, it'll go, so this is actually orange, so I'm going to do light orange, and then when you go to save it, save, so yeah, that's all good, and then it will ask you to flatten it, you have to flatten it or it will not be accepted as, again, uh, when you try to upload it to Roblox, so you have to go flatten, saved, done, and then once that's done, you can just simply, let me see if I can move this, yeah I can't move that screen, uh, let me just quickly open up my Roblox, oh, whoa, and you can simply go over to your character, go over to your shirts, go to create shirt, choose your file, so I made a light orange shirt, so go there, light orange shirt, upload and that should say sh shirt successfully created and there you go you will have your new shirt all ready for you so as always guys this is xx dragon platinum xx signing out peace out plus as a little added tip if you ever need if you ever have a question or need help with uh anything at all uh be feel free to contact me or just leave something in the comments so as always this is xx dragon platinum xx signing out Peace out, guys.